another ROM review. Here I'm going to review 2.8, which is Project Blaze. And really thanks, da, thanks to Novice for building this one. And I'm using this uh, custom ROM for some days. Uh, I know it's too late uh, because I was busy. I could not make the video. Uh, and here is the video right now. And if some of you were keep, uh, keep asking me to make the video. Okay, let's get it started. First of all, let me show you from the settings, and I'm using here the custom kernel, which is Project Kara. Kernel is you supported the latest one. Let me show you. Here is Android version, Android 13, and Project Blaze 2.8. After a long time, we have another custom ROM, which is really small, uh, Android 13, of course. And here we have the kernel, which is called Project Kara, and this custom kernel supports kernel SU. I will make videos on kernel SU uh, later so wait for that now this is it then we have the system as usual we have all customizations necessary you guys will get both version which is uh gfs build and vanilla build i recommend you guys to use the vanilla build because you can choose according to your choice the gfs one which is nick gap score i recommend you guys in system we have as usual the device settings where you guys will get mi sound enhancer uh, ambient display, FPS overlay, color calibration, car speaker clear, oh, everything and thermal profiles as usual. No issues with that. Then we have the accessibility password accounts and here we have the security. Okay, let's see what we uh, can get here. Here we have the face unlock, fingerprint and app lock as usual. Uh, it, that means we have every customization which actually we need. Then we have notifications and storage. Okay, let me show you the system storage. Here we have the system storage, which is 1.1 GB. And Android 13 is a bit heavier than Android 12, 12 L, and Android 11, of course. Then we have here this wallpaper and style. As usual, we have uh, wallpapers and other things. Change wallpapers on device wallpapers. You guys will get that one only one only one wallpaper is included here then we have the project blaze house that means the customization hub you guys will get all the necessary customizations as usual here we are we are getting uh the custom forms then icon pack signal icon packs so wi-fi icon pack and icon shape as usual okay and then we have the status bar status bar customization battery style battery percentage and clock network indicator which is perfectly working then we have roaming indicator 4g icon and all the necessary customizations are here you guys can check that out then qs panel customization brightness slider uh, which you can select show always never show and when expanded then the position can be selected then background opacity can be changed hide qs in secure lock screen if you don't want to show your qs panel in lock screen then turn that on Reticker and data uses everything and then we have the lock screen ripple effect lock screen charging info as usual the regular customizations are there then we have the system here we have the add bounce restart and parallel space which is very very important if you want to uh, make any application as a dual application uh, then you can use this parallel space that means dual application and then ignore secure flags toast step icons and other things unlock high fps in games and you will also get uh, google photos unlimited storage as usual no problem with that here we have the display settings all the necessary customizations display size and text the user interface which which was introduced in android 13 and this is here double tap to wake and everything is fine working no issues with that and uh, okay let's talk about the smoothness and I'm using here custom kernel, default kernel also good, no issues with that. A custom ROM is small. And Android 13 of course, and when you use the internet, of course notifications make the device a bit laggy, actually not laggy, slower. So you will get that issue in every Android 13 custom ROM. Uh, rather than you can use it, no problem with that. And let's talk about the Gcam. And in that custom ROM particular gcam is working and which is parrot gcam and i will drop that gcam link in description and still you will face some freezing issue here okay if you face problem like this then just uh, close the camera then open it again or uh, switch lenses or 
switch to camera to portray it night side then it will fine okay no issues with that now it's fine working so there is no issues you guys can use that particular gcam in that one okay now let me show you here is the cpu throttling and that was the early stage that's why uh, 70 percent of its max performance and that was for 100 threads not on not for 20 or 50 or something okay so this is great okay now let's talk about the safety net issue safety net by default passed or not yes safety net passed by default so no problem okay let's talk about the home settings that means the launcher this is great we have that background blur depth restart and allow home screen rotations then you guys can customize your icon packs if you don't like the default icon pack just click on the plus icon and go to play store then download according to your choice then you guys can do everything all the necessary customization actually available here themed icons everything no issues with that and we have the recent here memory info if you need then you can enable that one okay just like this you guys will get the memory info here so this is it and RAM management is also great and you guys will get the dark background in the QS panel so this is it and all the toggles are included here no problem I hope you guys understand the video if I miss anything then just let me know in the comment section below so thank you for watching